So Nikon, or Nikon, what the frickin'. Nikon has been busy this morning. They've released yet another telephoto lens. I just want to talk a little bit about Nikon's strategy of lens releases versus Canon, because they came out with the same mirrorless type of dime. Same time. I'll leave. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So birds everywhere are just singing the praises of Nikon. They have yet again released another telephoto lens. They have like nine of them, I think. Just think of this. They have the 100 to 400, also a 180 to 600, then a 400 mil budget prime 24.5, and then a super expensive 400 prime 2.8. And then now they have a 600, 6.3, to go along with their 624 professional, and an 800, 6.3. Like 19 versions, where's a 35, 1.4? They have no 1.4 primes. Like most people need these things. Was there a meeting? Did I miss it? All right, fellas, in a dwindling market, we need to make sure that we do not succumb to smartphone losers who just snap and run. We have to make things that are desirable that smartphones can't do. Can they reach far? Doubt it. I think we should release another telephoto lens. What the hell was that, Johnson? That was actually one of your marbles, sir. Are you crazy? You've lost your marbles. We, we already have telephotos covered. We got, we got zooms, we got primes, pro and budget. Come on, you're joking, right? We need 1.4 primes. And something like a 35, 21.2. 1.4 primes. That, that'll just see like what's close to you. What, what's out there? What's up there? I need to know, man. We don't have enough options. Sure, we have some zooms and some primes. How about every focal length prime with every aperture? That's what we're doing here at Nikon. We're having a 400 mil 2.8 and then a 24 and a 4.5 then a 5.6 to complement the 4.5. Guys, the strategy of the future. Cover everybody's bases. We don't have the resources to dedicate so much attention to telephoto primes, it's covered. We have it. Let's move on. We can't be stuck in the past. Your girlfriend broke up with you. You have to move on. Dave, what about Sarah? She's looking at you from across the office right now. Go kiss her. I can't, Johnson. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to love. Telephoto Primes let me escape. They let me go far away from here, where I was abandoned by my honey bunch. She used to tickle my ears, and now she just yells into them. I just want to see what's over there sometimes. They say the grass isn't always greener. It's farther away, though. That's better than here. So now we see that it's Nikon's inability to love women that leads them to seeking further and further distances. I don't know that 600, I get it. I understand it. There's pros that want the 600 F4 and they'll actually buy that thing. And then they're on a safari. They're getting stabbed by like rhino horns and stuff and they need to get the shot. I understand there's a whole world of people who don't just go in their backyard looking at blue jays and cardinals. Me. So like, okay, you need the pro stuff. But then a 606.3 is the same exact spec as your zoom is on the long end. It's a 180 to 600. It'll be slightly sharper, I guarantee it. Who cares? Will it have more 3D pop? I doubt it. There were 22 elements. I understand that it's much lighter, like 1.3 kilograms versus 1.9 of the 180 to 600. Significant weight savings, but at a cost of not only versatility, you lose your zoom range for not any aperture gain. You also spend so much more money. It's like triple the price almost. And DP Review said something like, 600 prime is light in weight and price is $4,800 American. I can't even fathom what that means in Canadian dollars. B and H is saying 6,500 and then there's import fees and taxes. We're looking at seven to seven and a half thousand dollars 
light in price. I could buy seven phones. What would that, that would not be better. As a side experiment, I've been tinkering with Sony S Cinetone to get it to look like Canon colors. Let's switch to it and see if I was successful. I hate you, Sony. So Canon's strategy versus Nikon is quite different. Canon comes out with ultra high end, like caviar eating lenses that are super expensive and heavy. They just released a freaking 10 to 20. We'll get to you right now, actually. 10 to 20? Who needs 10 ever? I get that there's people who aren't just vlogging losers who film themselves and do wildlife sometimes and the like streets, but 10 to 20, like how wide do you need to be? 14 is stupid wide. Who needs to show like, it will never look normal. I get architecture, okay. You wanna capture the whole Vegas sphere. Wow, look at that, whole thing's in my shot. And I'm like right next to it too, I can walk indoors. Who cares about you? You're boring me so much. And then you lose your four mil on the long end. What are you gonna do without that? You had a versatile, normal 24 mil length. And now what are you? So expensive, you can't put filters on the front. It's lighter though. I don't know why I get so angry at every release. Something's wrong with me. It'd be a fun lens. I would love to actually vlog with it, see what would happen. I think the corners would be warpy as hell. It wouldn't be a good lens, but you never know. But so expensive. Ouch. But like Canon's super high-end lenses and then ugly budget lenses that like are so kit lens, like prime kit lenses. That's what they're doing basically. It's so bad. Versus Nikon's like kind of middle of the road and then super telephoto and then also like freakish things like the Noct. You know that... This lens, the 600mm 6.3, the only lens that's more expensive than that, the next one up is the Noct. That's how unreasonable a territory we're dealing with here. If I'm looking through the Nikon lens lineup here, there's a lot of holes, a lot of somewhat interesting things. The 40mm Tony 2 apparently has some 3D pop from what I've heard. And it's like a tiny little vintage like lens. They have two versions of that thing. One just looks different, that's stupid. 28mm 2.8. What are you gonna do with that? Nothing. Little kit lens zooms. 26mm 2.8. So instead of like coming out with something different, you're doing like every two. What's next? A 30mm 2.8 to complement your 24mm 2.8 coming next week? Leave me alone. 50. All the like major primes are 1.8s, not really 1.4s. That's weird. It's just weird. You shoot full frame to get your 1.4, don't you? Even though we're on a 2.8 secret lens that I've already reviewed, but this video cut the line. Yeah. Then you got your fake Tamron zooms that you have a Nikon label on. No 24 mil 1.4. Where's that? And then freakish ultra wide zooms, 14 to 30 and a 14 to 28. I don't know. It's too wide. It bores me. Your 50 mil 1.2 is way too heavy. How much does that weigh? a kilogram and a half it is over a kilogram that's 2.4 pounds who could lift that nobody and that new plana 135 mil 1.8 in the marketing material it says we have a 3d separation they're claiming 3d pop i doubt it highly doubted it's not a leica or a zeiss be real with yourself your aspirations you're you're just speaking to me you're mocking me now because i talk about it so much you know, oh, we have it's 3D. He'll buy it, right? I won't. But hot damn, Nikon, I'm trying to get into your system. Give me a reason. Anything. Your ZF is the only full frame with a flippy screen, and then it's photography centric. You keep mocking me with all your releases. Where's the Z6 III or an A7S III killer? That's what I would love to see Nikon do, because usually. Their cameras that they copy Sony from are at least better than Sony in some ways. Better color, ergonomics, not that I care about that. But there's nothing that really stands out in Nikon that you would switch into it for, in my opinion. And super expensive. This whole genre is dead photography and video. In fact, let's stop the record button after you 
thumb up the video and subscribe and buy a camera conspiracies t-shirt are you gonna buy this 600 mil is that like amazing for you i think it was 180 to 600 all the way if you're going wildlife and then what would you do for youtube you got no lens that's magic the 40 mil 22 i would do that and then to vlog you get your 28 mil 22.8 just because it's so light but you really got to reach that out there that ain't right i'm gonna leave i can subscribe from what i'm saying